Ah, the humble Brahmin. Not usually the Wasteland's most capable combat unit. At least that was until I got a message from Julian over at Oakbrush Workshop, challenging myself and a handful of other Fallout Wasteland Warfare content creators and crafters to create a crazy kit bash out of a Brahmin. So for this build, we're starting out with the Creatures Brahmin Herd box set by Modifius Entertainment. In this box, we've got two amazing Brahmin, one of which I'm going to use and convert into something. Now, of course, the whole purpose of this challenge is to do a kit bash out of these Brahmins, so I found this weird little gun in a kit from an old um, military set that I got. So I decided I'm going to make some sort of battle Brahmin, mount some sort of guns and machine guns on them. And I had this little one and that got me thinking, well, this isn't quite enough. So I found this. It's a bunch of gigantic guns and a turret, and I just thought, well, let's take this and smash it into this and see what happens. So opening up the Max Minis kit here, and the main attraction being these two auto cannon, Gatlin cannon, anti-aircraft looking things. So if I'm able to somehow mount these onto the side of the Brahmin, throw every gun I've got onto this thing. But before we get into all that, we need to prepare the model itself. After cutting all the Brahmin bits and bobs off the sprues, it was time to get individual parts ready. After washing the model in dish soap and water using an old toothbrush, I started trimming and sanding down all the joints where the steamer trunk would join onto the Brahmin itself. The model went together great and these trunks are going to be the perfect platform to use for these giant guns. I used a hobby knife and drill bit to carve out holes just big enough for the posts of the big guns and slotted them into place. If you notice the Brahmin model looks a little darker from this point on in the build, that's because I kind of lost where I was in my order of operations and primed it uh, ahead of getting the rest of the parts assembled. So it didn't really impact the overall quality of the build, but just a little reminder that uh, take your time. But if you screw up like I did, just keep going because it'll all work out in the end. Deciding that three guns on this battle Brahmin just wasn't enough, I busted out this old box of Space Marine Company veterans looking for some extra weapons and boy did I strike gold. I found some Gatling guns, some missile launchers, some flags that I could use as standards on this thing. After a lot of cutting, scraping, sanding, and gluing, we had all four big guns mounted onto the Brahmin. With the weaponry sorted out, I wanted to add a little extra flair to the Brahmin, something to inspire my troops as it leads my forces into battle. And this banner will make the perfect standard, but we need to build it up a little bit, give it a bit of a flagpole. With the flagpole raised, the Battle Brahmin is assembled. Now it's just a matter of getting it primed and painted. And there you have it, Wastelanders. One Battle Brahmin ready to dish out some high velocity justice on the tabletop. This kit bash challenge was a ton of fun and I wanna say thank you to all the other crafters and builders who invited me along for this ride. Here you can see the handiwork of some of the other hobbyists, including Galon, Mini Newbie, LR Tabletop, Jagged Brush Studios, and Oak Brush Workshop. If you enjoyed this video, then hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss our next video. And if you really enjoy what we do here on the channel, then consider becoming a member of our Patreon or YouTube membership community. A huge thank you to all of our patrons for supporting what we do here on the channel, and thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned, because as always, WGNR will be back.